one thing I'll just say before we jump into this is the cost to get a POC going for this type of application is very low. You know, I, the, one of the things I love about working with Inductive is that you can do the trial of ignition. So you get a piece of hardware from us, connect it up, and you can immediately start seeing value. So let's talk about how you'd actually potentially do that in a real world application. So, you know, a lot of the time, as, as we, we've said, you're gonna be dealing with brownfield deployments. A lot of the things we're gonna be talking about here can apply to greenfields as well. But looking at brownfield deployments that we encounter on, on a regular basis, you have to deal with the legacy equipment. And the first thing that you can really do in a lot of these cases is display, visualize the data locally and do some reporting. So to give an example, this was something that I'd worked on in the uh, food and beverage space in, for uh, chip manufacturing. And so, you know, back to Mike's earlier point, there are still a lot of people in the industry that are, you know, walking around with the clipboard, checking off valves. And so interacting with the legacy protocols that were available, whether we could get, collect that data over serial, take advantage of the drivers that uh, Ignition has built in, we can start to pull that data from the machinery into Ignition without having to replace it, replace the machinery. And so, you pair that with an industrial PC because these are not the cleanest of environments. So you're talking about salt, dust, debris, ship powder. Really, you know, you look at a you know CNC shop, metal shavings. None of this stuff is conducive to a regular computer. So that's why you're looking at a specialized piece of hardware, you know, in in the industrial space. But you can use it just like you would any computer. It's not like you're having to use some crazy wild OS you've never heard of. It's it's an x86 generally based computer. To, to deploy this, but in, you know, to start implementing Ignition, for example, we can now that we have that data, we can automate that collection. We can visualize it locally for plant operators right in the field, cleanly show real-time feedback, generate reports that are starting to provide true value for that customer. And now you've created a situation where you're showing immediate value, you're getting additional value out of your machinery, and you have a baseline. So now you can look at how you scale. So we talked about a couple applications, but you see in this picture here, there are cameras on the line. You could deploy additional edge compute resources, uh, you know, a higher spec device at the field, at, at, at the edge, right on the line, do quality control on that line, look at those, you know, do machine vision. You could do predictive maintenance, you know, look at part failures over time. You know, there's some great modules, um, with ignition to, to look at that and say, when do I need to replace equipment? How do I reduce downtime? There's very, very easy ways um, when you're starting out with the HMI reporting to just show immediate value and start proving this out in your organization. And excuse if there's uh, any noise in the background, the F-35s are overhead right now, so uh, they're, they're a little loud. But, um, you know, perhaps, you know, analyzing the data, you really can prove out what you want to do long term. So I'll, I'll throw out one suggestion and we'll look at another use case too. But as you scale up, you can look at the cloud. You can look at, okay, what are these big data tools? What are these dashboards? You know, look at what tools you can bring in that really work well with, with Ignition. We won't cover those here. There's some great, as Mr. mentioned, there's some great webinars that they put on, specifically around MQTT. But uh, as you look at an indoor use case, you know, this gives you a baseline, you know, improving that efficiency. What applications do you want to do long term? Looking at, you know, how we can solve challenges at, at more of a distributed network. And really, you know, I, I'll talk a little bit about wastewater, but this could be anything from, you know, wellheads, utility grids, you know, larger wastewater networks. Um, there's additional challenges we need to address. So, you know, these are real challenges that the customers bars are facing all the time. Um, but looking at the environment, you know, when we're talking indoor, we're generally talking people need to be in those spaces on a regular basis. So it's it's fairly temperate. But when you get out in the field, you know, you are maybe not have AC and heating in that NEMA enclosure. Um, so you're gonna wanna look at a device with a wider operating temperature. You know, there are other factors we'll talk about a little bit that you generally consider with rugged, but I'll, let, I'll hold off and let Mike talk to those. And the other big thing is you're gonna need to look at the connectivity challenges. So as we've talked a little bit about 4G and 5G, you need a way when you don't have fiber or copper to connect to these sites. So really the additional challenge that then causes is transmission costs. So to, you know, putting the compute right at the edge to process that data, to send up only what you need to the cloud or an offsite server 
is really important because you know it is expensive to transmit data over you know standard cellular networks. But again, edge computing will help minimize that cost. The other thing you got to consider too is you know if you're you know there are many applications where the PC is a critical part of the infrastructure. That you're not always just going to have a data controller that can you know okay if it, if it fails what happens. A lot of the time it's, it's critical to plan operations. So having something that can operate outside of the network is is, is also key. So as, as reliable as networks are, you always want to plan to make sure that you know you have as few risks for downtime as possible. So something like Ignition Edge, where you can have the PLCs report into uh, the computer itself, run the local HMI, and if for whatever reason that connection to the, let's say, remote server offsite or the cloud is lost, the PLCs can still transmit that data, store and forward that, the local HMI still works for the operator, and then when that connection is reestablished, you can send those tags up. But at the end of the day, that doesn't impact plan operations. So really in terms of like scaling the application whether it's you know predictive maintenance whether that's you know organization-wide reporting computer vision the long-term goals and applications can work whether it's brownfield whether it's greenfield whether it's in you know whether it's a manufacturing site whatever the industry but it you need to really consider what additional challenges from a software and hardware perspective do i need to plan on based on those um deployments and it's something you know us and Inductive can help you do, um, you know, because we work with customers like you all the time uh, to solve these challenges.